Hi guys, <laughs> it's nothing like doing things again, uh, just because I can. Um, just wanted to cut my previous transmission shorter um, because I just want to just say things only once and not keep going over it again. <sighs> so welcome to day 10 of this 30 day transmission on Yang Woman. Um, if you want to know who Yang Woman is, please pop over to my website, ginahardyyoga.com and have a look at um, this profile of woman who happens to have defined herself quite strongly um, as my clients in this last year. And Yang Woman turns up in all sorts of um, profiles from single women to married women or women in partnership, straight women, gay women, it doesn't really matter, it's just women who tend to run their energy in a very directive, orchestrative, ma more masculine way and it's created a, a great big life but also with it challenges, desires and um, and then this calling that perhaps we are wanting to experience more of this authentic feminine essence that is within all of us um, that maybe perhaps we're denying so in the last seven days I talked about the challenges of being a young woman from having a mad crazy diary to actually feeling quite alone. Um, and all of these videos, by the way, are being uploaded gradually over the next um, however many days, 10, 20 days onto YouTube. So please do a go over to Gina Hardy Yoga on YouTube because I'm going to upload the videos to there as well. So please do feel free to share because I really feel that there are dilemmas amongst us women who are running our energy in this way. Um, it's not wrong, it's just an observation exercise. And um, really, and in my own experiential perspective and my learning over the past 50 years of my life, I, I have a very strong desire to pay forward what I know. I consider myself a sneezer, somebody who loves to be able to tell other people, you know, what I'm learning and what's helpful out of that so that they can uh, benefit in their own lives. That's it, really. My life motto is live, learn, love and then pay it forward. And paying it forward is what I really want to do. So we talked about the challenges. Um, this next set of seven videos are talking about the desire. So yesterday we talked about um, a young woman and her desire to feel connected. It's a universal thing. We dance between connection and disconnection, um, but wanting to truly feel connected to herself. Today is about labels. We are full of labels, really, when I think about it. We are business women, we're corporate women with a job title, we are somebody's wife, sister, mother, daughter, friend, grandparent even, and it's a big lot of labels and responsibilities. So we tend to have created our lives and we gather all these labels as we become part of a community and part of families and friends. Of course we do. Um, but I think when we go into our 40s and there's this change, maybe it's menopause, that makes us look at ourselves and think, well, who actually am I without my way, my labels? And we start to crave our own space and our own time to maybe try and explore that. And one of the things we don't have very much of is our own time. It's like... Even some days, I know some of my friends are so busy with their children and busy with their responsibilities in life that they even have five minutes to, so that we can grab each other on the phone and breathe and go, hi, how are you, love you, what's going on, blah, and then we move on. So, but then in all of that, in all of the labels, um, who are we? And the great desire to feel connected to the very essence of who we are. And I think as we are young women, we run our energy in a more masculine way, which for me, certainly now, more I recognise it, is more inauthentic than authentic because as I'm starting to take my foot off the accelerator of life, in fact, to be honest, my foot is take, being taken off the accelerator of life and I have got loads of space. I run my business, but that doesn't take up loads of my week. I'm able to enjoy plenty of free time. And I have got a lot of introspective time, which, you know, again, there's a balance in that. Doing too much introspective work can sometimes um, not help. Um, 
so more of a yin phase of my life is taking over. I've been saying it for such a long time, you know, particularly through menopause women. You know, if you're very yang, your menopause can be a bit of a shock because you're so tired, um, you can get elbow, overwhelm, anxiety, a number of feelings that um, you don't actually want to be as visible to the world. You want to be um, more in the background and yet being a yang woman, you're out there powering it up sexually um, from a manif manifestation point of view, from an orchestration point of view, you're really out there. Menopause changes you and certainly for me and I found it a little bit of a crash even though now I'm beginning to enjoy the flow. But being more yin feels more authentic and I feel more myself than I probably have done for, I don't know, maybe 20 years, maybe 30 years. I mean, Crikey, when do you actually wake up with that question, who am I? But I really feel that who am I is one of the things that young women do, particularly around this age, because again, with all these life changes happening, loss, um, things happening around us, even ill health, it can really point you within. It's like there's this big turn within to take a look at all of that. Yeah. So that's what I really wanted to say about that. And if that's what you're feeling, I really understand where you're at. Who am I? One of the biggest questions. And again, on retreat, when we go away together and I go away with a bunch of women and we're in a sisterhood environment, you can really share your feelings. And that's a great way to feel connected and to explore yourself. And I think actually we find out who we are in relation to other people. And certainly I have found out that much more when I've been in therapy for different areas of my life and that is so beneficial so I would never shy away from that because I think we always have to have a willingness to look at who we have created ourselves to be because some of it isn't helpful to others and I think it's an arrogance if I'm really honest not to take a look at who you are and what parts of yourself are not necessarily un are helpful to yourself number one and also other people around you. So if you do have a great desire to find out who you are, I don't mind, it doesn't matter to me how you go and do that. I just want that for you. Life will be happier and better and all the things that go with it. <sighs> so that's today's transmission. I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Um, again, all these videos are going up to YouTube too, which is super cool. Um, and we'll talk about another desire tomorrow. But in the meantime... I really understand you. I salute you. I honour you. And I love you as a fellow sisterhood yangi. Talk tomorrow. Namaste.